who inspires and moves me the most? I live in gratitude every day because my entire world is surrounded by people who inspire me and move me every single day with their grace, their beauty, their passion, their love, their critical thought, their artistry, and their generosity, which they bring um, into the work that they do, whether that be at home or in their workplace. Um, the, the, the work of social justice is on so many levels, whether it be uh, working together to build and strengthen our community, um, supporting local businesses, or advocating for better laws like we do at WorkSafe. I count among those who inspire me, my daughters, who move and shake their generation with their talent, their skill, and their thought leadership. My husband inspires me. He's a community builder, who's an educator and a rap artist. My birth mother inspires me. She survived a massacre in her hometown of Hue in Vietnam and came over after the loss of our country, South Vietnam, to rebuild with her friends and her family and her community. My adoptive mother inspires me. She was the first black student to attend an integrated high school in San Antonio, Texas. She was um, one of the freedom fighters in San Antonio who uh, during the civil rights movement fought against segregation. What words of wisdom would you share with someone starting their career? First of all, I want to thank you all so much for recognizing my work and giving me the chance to express my gratitude for the opportunity to become a lawyer and to try my best to put my law degree to good work. Well, I'd say before you even begin your career, uh, see how you can uh, find ways to fund your education. And for those of you who are out, uh, out of school and who, who are um, attorneys and successful, I, I would uh, say, please, please, Take the time to support your local scholarship because it makes an immense amount of difference um, for those of us who are, are uh, entering the public interest field as attorneys. If you're at the beginning of your career, I would say try to explore as many ways of working on those issues that you're most passionate about uh, as much as possible. As someone who experienced a brush with uh, foster care, I had a loyalty to ensuring that the foster care system um, was efficient and that it actually ensured safety and care for foster youth. And so I started my professional career as a child care counselor at a uh, group home. I later on became an attorney uh, guardian at Leiden for foster youth in the dependency care system. I also represented parents. So I would say um, be very strategic about how you want to gain the experience and what exactly experience you want to gain and find uh, networks that will open you to opportunities to engage in uh, and utilize those tools that you want to use as a lawyer. It takes a lot of time and energy uh, engaging with experts in the area. And so take your time to map that out. Talk to people who have done it already to see how you could hone your skills to, to ensure that you have the most optimal um, position possible to be the change maker that you want to be in the world. If you can do it all over again, would you change anything? And if so, what? So I don't really uh, look at the past like this because things flow the way they need to flow in order for me to be where I am today, doing what I am today. So I don't really think about the world like that. But since you asked the question, I can just kind of speculate. Um, when I graduated from law school, uh, I graduated within a week or so of my daughter, my eldest daughter graduating from high school. So it was a, an incredible time of uh, growth and evolution for us, her going off to college and me starting my first law uh, job. If I could do it, something differently, I would have taken the time to study abroad and immerse myself um, to be able to become as fluent in Spanish as possible and to become as fluent in Vietnamese as possible. Uh, because I believe that fluency in a language increases uh, my ability to really engage with people. Um, thank you again for taking the time to recognize my work. I'm extremely honored to receive this award and to follow in the footsteps of so many amazing people before me.